fourth valley is the valley of unity. After passing through the valley of knowledge, which is the last plane of limitation, the traveler comes to the valley of unity and drinks from the cup of the absolute and gazes on the manifestations of oneness. In this station, he tears the veils of plurality, flees from the worlds of the flesh and ascends into the heaven of singleness. With the ear of God, he hears. With the eye of God, he beholds the mysteries of divine creation. He steps into the sanctuary of the friend. He stretches out the hand of truth from the sleeve of the Absolute. He reveals the secrets of power. He sees in himself neither name nor fame nor rank, but finds his own praise in praising God. He looks on all things with the eye of oneness and sees the brilliant rays of the Divine Sun shining from the dawning point of essence on all created things. O oh my brother, a pure heart is as a mirror. Cleanse it with the burnish of love and detachment from all save God, so that the true sun may shine within it and the eternal morning may dawn. Although the divine worlds be never-ending, yet some refer to them as four. The world of time, or Zaman, which is the one that has both a beginning and an end. The world of duration, the Har, which had a beginning but whose end is not revealed. The world of perpetuity, Sarmad, whose beginning is not to be seen but which is known to have an end, and the world of eternity, Azal, neither a beginning nor an end of which is visible. The journeys in the pathway of love are reckoned as four, from the creatures to the true one, from the true one to the creatures, from the creatures to the creatures, from the true one to the true one. O thou dear one, impoverish yourself that you may enter the high court of riches and humble your body that you may drink from the river of glory. Next is the valley of contentment.